Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toby here and today we're gonna head over to the body shop to get both of the reverse lights and to do my mirrors. So I'm not gonna be having the guy do this at the body shop. I'm actually gonna do this myself. And as you can see, a bunch of the clear coat is cracking off. I think this is from the accident. Now the mirrors actually didn't look like this after the accident, but I think the car sat outside for so long that the clear coat got baked off of the carbon fiber. So when the guy's doing my reverse light and fixing that up, as you guys know in the last vlog, we explained what I did to that. <clears throat> I severed one of the power supply cables to that reverse light, so it's been flashing nonstop. While it's at the shop, I'm also gonna ask the guy to remove these carbon fiber mirror covers. I'm gonna bring them home, sand them down, and then redo the clear coat on them. Stayed on the build, we're so close to putting those bead locks on, so these are the steel valve stems that are gonna go on the wheels and the bead locks. I think we're only waiting on one more part, and I totally forgot what that is. Yeah, so that part that I was forgetting are the freaking lug nuts that are gonna go on the car. I don't remember the dimensions, but those need to come in the mail and then those bead locks are gonna get slapped on. We're gonna go ahead, hop inside the car real quick and get a little bit of a cold start. Ah uh, yes, take that out of first gear, wiggle it up and put the clutch down, about to hit that ignition. All ready to go. <laughs> Guys, how many likes down on this vlog lights back on let me know in the comment section below and I might do it boy oh boy is it hot out here today I think we're dealing with 95 degrees out in South Florida but I just wanted to mention thank you guys so much for 400k TikTok followers and take a look at this carbon fiber all over Sally is decked out we also fixed up that weighted shift knob on TikTok the other day not to mention I also just got off the phone with my boy Eduardo who works at the shop he said bring her by and we'll have her done in an hour or so look at Devin in the Versa I think it's time for us to roll out though see you Devin this supercharger is definitely heat soaked right now 94 degrees outside inlet air temps are over 100 degrees but i wanted to give a quick shout out to Dyna performance for hooking up all the carbon fiber pieces that you guys see in the car they literally got us decked out you guys can actually use code lime.0 for 10 percent off the whole store site i'm also kind of surprised that my boy eduardo is agreeing to take us in this late usually he wants me to show up at 8 a.m it's like 2 30 p.m i woke up super late i have a bunch of school assignments to do i stayed up all night posted at YouTube videos you guys know the deal actually when I get back from doing this and doing my mirrors it's back to doing school once again I think Devin wants to do a little bit of a Mexico roll race out here we're in sixth gear uh, 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 oh left them gone <laughs> oh my god one particular thing that I'll always be impressed by with this car is how well it rides at high speeds. It's almost as if you're going 60 miles an hour when you're going in excess of 70. So it's kind of nuts, even in higher speeds on a closed road course, 100 plus, 140 plus, it feels like you're going 60. Ford has accomplished something that's crazy and a feat of engineering. I was talking a little bit way too much and missed the exit, but we're only six minutes away from being at the shop. I'm excited, they need to fix up my car ASAP. If you guys are looking for a good shop out here in South Florida, I highly recommend Palm Beach Performance. As you probably recall, this is the same shop that did Sally's initial makeover. So they installed my carbon fiber spoiler and my splitter. I highly recommend them. All this multitasking with recording both TikTok and YouTube vlogs at the same time is absolutely insane, but we just pulled up to Palm Beach Performance. I'm gonna pop inside and drop the car off. Devin just pulled up, finally, took the wrong exit. Uh -huh. She's looking clean. You can hear the catalytic converter clanking in his car though. Oh my God, you need to get this Versa fixed. So the car is right in there. Devin, what's up? Uh, right now they're trying to fix it. They're trying to fix our mess up with the tire or the <laughs> last night and I already messed up the lock. <laughs> the wire taps, okay. They're gonna fix that reverse light up. Alrighty, we're all finished up now. So as you can see, the turn signal now works normally, just like the other side. They re-soldered that and made sure the connection was good. And they also fixed up the reverse light. Didn't really film any of the exchange inside of the shop because I don't know how Eduardo feels about having a camera stuck in his face. Not everybody's comfortable with that. And I just wanted to be respectful, but just know that the car is fixed up now and I'll show you in a second. Sometimes I truly just don't know how to act and I get carried away with tapping the throttle in fourth gear. This car pulls through literally every gear you go in six on the highway it'll still pull with all that boost time to showcase that the reverse light now works one more 
more look at the brake light. So as you can see, it's flashing when Devin steps on the brake and it's not supposed to flash at all when you're not stepping on the brake. So it's functional now. Valley's all parked up now. We're gonna head to Total Nutrition. We gotta get some ghost energy drinks and some protein chocolate bars, something like that. But anyways, after we do that, we're gonna head over to the gym and we have to get the supplies to fix up the mirrors. I don't know if I'm gonna attempt that or not because I was talking to the guy at the body shop, Eduardo, and he was like, I don't even think that you can fix that, but we'll give it a shot. What you going with today? Sour Patch the Bay. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, tropical mango again. Yeah. Which bar are you going with, Doug? I'm gonna go with the donuts because we don't go to Dunkin' anymore. Yeah. Put you boys on real quick. So this is like Mango Ghost, and then this is a Quest Peanut Butter Cup. That car you hear right there is a GT350, that's sick. Let's get this sucker opened up. Hopefully I don't spill everywhere. Cheers, boys. And the thing that I like about these energy drinks is that they have absolutely zero sugar. I don't eat sugar, and this is optimal for me. I'm gonna see if I can get down the camera real quick so we can get some rollers. <laughs> We tried our best at rollers. I mean, change of plans though. We're gonna go get something to eat. We gave it our best shot. We don't have a third person driving the car and we don't have Devin sticking out of the door. He's looking mean, but honestly, I kind of miss those GT tail lights. What do you think, Devin? I actually do like these a little bit more better, but the GT lights are always super clean too. Yeah, it makes it more unique, if one must say. All right, you guys know the deal. We're going straight to Chipotle. I'm gonna get my steak bowl. We're actually bulking right now. We need to get a little bit bigger and then we're gonna go to the gym and I have a bunch of school assignments to do. The best. I swear this man is a literal man child. Look at him, he's got the kids full. $4.99, you get everything you need. No, no, thumbs up, thumbs up. And you save a little bit of money, you know what I'm talking about? Are you serious? It's five o'clock already, but I definitely did not manage my time well at all today. We're gonna head to the gym real quick and I need to get to my school assignments. I have too many. Alrighty boys, I just filmed the dumbest TikTok ever. I would play the audio, but I'm gonna get copyright striked. We're gonna hit the gym. I think I'm gonna go for some back and buy. I'm not really sure yet. Honestly, I'm not really sure if I can fix this up. This looks like impact damage from the crash. So when I smacked into those trees, I feel like these mirrors got pretty beat up and you can't really fix that, but we'll give it our best shot. They should have replaced the mirrors too because when we got into the accident, they replaced the front end splitter and everything else. Yeah, so what he's talking about is this carbon fiber splitter. They completely replaced this. They replaced the carbon fiber in there. They replaced the eyebrows. So why wouldn't they replace the mirror? Mind you, the splitter also cracked too. So they went ahead and completely replaced it. I feel like they kind of just overlooked the mirrors because it's a small thing. I'm trying to remember what we hit at the gym so that we don't do any repeats or we don't do something that we don't need to. Essentially, when you go to the gym, I don't know, this is my split. I hit every moment muscle group twice a week. We're gonna hit up a quick little bicep and shoulder day. So we're starting with these incline dumbbell curls. I honestly just started this workout and I'm already pretty pumped already. the ashes wings on my back stay they like a matchstick we ain't coming back i swear just let go and see what happens gotta let go to see the magic happen they got is a quick change so we like them in face i just bought a new watch time to make my wrist ring the zero gravity keeps elevating me yes sir so we're almost done with this Alrighty boys, so we just finished with the workout. I'm stressed out about school, so I'm gonna go back to the house and do some assignments. I'm still in my bulking stage, so I'm not as big as I should be. I came off of a crazy cut. I'll catch you boys at the house. I just realized that we totally forgot to hit up some shoulders, but you can see Sally lurking in the background right there. She looks good.
currently out here doing school assignments, so this is a discussion post for UF. I should be done with this in like 30 minutes, and then we're gonna go grab the supplies we need to redo my mirrors. I just finished typing up all three of my responses, but I totally forgot that Walmart closes at 11 p.m., so unfortunately, we're gonna have to shop for the clear coat online. I use something like this, so I'll probably just order this up from Amazon and get Sally Wright in another video. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna go to bed. I'm going to Supercar Saturday at 7 a.m., so if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and keep your eyes out for two more vlogs this weekend.